can't call it a children's story, I'm supposed to call it story time. Yes. It seems that there's some of you that enjoy this too. Your child at heart, I guess. Three pretty little girls today. Well, this is a time of year. certificate I gave you and it expires Christmas. I was so embarrassed she'd give me something and I hadn't used it. So present should be appreciated, shouldn't it? You know, have you ever been given a gift and you didn't have a gift to give them back? Kind of feels funny, doesn't it? You know, when I was younger, I had children where I had teenagers all over the house when the kids were younger. And every once in a while, some child, teenager that frequented my house would suddenly show up with a gift for me. And I'd feel very embarrassed. I didn't have anything for them. And you know what I did? I started wrapping up a box of candy and I left it under the tree with no name on it. Just in case somebody gave me a gift and I didn't have a gift to give them. I was embarrassed. But you know what's the best thing to do? If you give a, try a gift and you don't have anything to give them in return, is to say, yes, thank you. What's the best gift you ever received? Was it a pretty doll baby? Was it a, was it a remote control car? Hmm? Well, I'm sure if you think back, you can think of some gift that you really, really thought was great, right? I thought a good gift. Oh, what did you get? So you got a computer gift yesterday, and you like that, huh? It was fun? Okay. Well, I want to tell you today about a gift that you got when you were born. 
You didn't know you had a gift when you were born, did you? But you know what you were given? Eternal life. Now, some of us put it on the shelf and we don't open it. Some of us don't use it. Some of us think we have to work for it. But that's the best gift in the world. Because the Bible tells us in Ephesians, for by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourself. It's a gift of God. Amen. So this is a gift of God to all mankind. That means you and me and everybody here were all given this very special gift. Now, just like the Bible tells us in John 3.16, we know what that is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should have everlasting life. Amen. Whosoever, that means all of us. Amen. So, when somebody gives you a gift, do you ask them how much it costs? Yes. No, it wouldn't be very polite. But you know what? The Bible tells us how much this, God, this gift costs. It tells us that God sent his only son. His son who came down from his heavenly place to live here and die for the sins that each of us have so that we may have eternal life. Amen. Eternal life, what a gift. And all we have to do to accept it is to say, yes, thank you. Now the devil would like you to think that you have to work for it. But you don't. You just have to believe and have faith that he died for you and me. Do you know what? I have in this little box. The things we get when we accept Jesus. We get love. Love's kind of important because if you don't have love, you won't know how to love others. And we're supposed to love every. Right? So what else do we get? We get joy. It makes us happy. When we have Jesus, we're happy. What else do we have in here? Peace. Peace. Having Christ in our life gives us peace. gives us hope. The Bible tells us that the blessed hope, in Timothy I believe it is, the blessed hope that we can live again in heaven. And all because we have faith in Jesus. That's what we have when we accept the very precious gift that God has given us. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for the greatest gift of all. We thank you for Jesus, who loved us so much that he paid the price for our sin to give us the gift of eternal life. And Lord, we thank you for these children, which the Bible tells us Behold, children are the gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is the reward. We thank you, Jesus, and we pray that we will trust and have faith in you that you
you 